Ross Cider Fest TV and today I am here with Romeo Lacoste. So we have special plans for how excited are you for today? Uh, pretty stoked. I haven't been to one of these events in a while so I'm trying to figure out, you know, I'm excited to see how it's different and what's going on and just, you know, check everything out. What's an award show? Like some of your friends are going to be getting awards. Like how cool is that? I better win an award. If I don't win an award, I'm going to be pissed. For best tattoo artist? For best anything. I better be best looking, best guy, best YouTube, best Instagram. Best tattooer, best girl, I don't care. I better get some kind of award. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's what I'm expecting you to do. Okay. I, I heard rumors. I can put some makeup on. I'll be best girl. Yeah, you don't want to put makeup on. It's too hot right now. Oh, you're right. Never mind. No makeup. It's my option. I got one. <laughs> what is your favorite tattoo that you've ever done for someone? So my favorite tattoo I've ever done? Let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh, favorite tattoo I've ever done? Uh, I did a really cool Spider-Man tattoo. It's on my Instagram. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite tattoo on your body? Uh, I like the portrait of my brother. I like uh, the ones on my neck. I like. I have a lot of cool tattoos. I like. I got um, my back just got finished. It's a big dragon, and then I just got. I just started this big piece on my stomach. Can I show it? Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, do you do your own to you? No. 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 That'd be uh, painful and difficult. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, you tattoo yourself. Yeah, I would definitely. Yeah. No. Right. My mom would never let me get a tattoo. She wouldn't? No. Why? Not her. Oh. I knew you wouldn't. Wow, your mom said she would. No, she always tells about how we couldn't. Okay. Uh, when you guys just figure out what you want, I'm the guy. You're the guy? I'm the guy. I'm the guy, girl, whatever. So you're the guy that tattoos all the other 12 boys. So how has that kind of like helped your career? Yeah, okay. So funny story, which I'm kind of glad you brought that up. A lot of people don't, like, don't, they kind of wonder, like, hey, who's this Romeo guy? He just popped out of nowhere. Well, I started tattooing bands on Warped Tour and stuff like that before I started tattooing, like, YouTubers and stuff like that. And um, I guess Sam uh, Potter from O2L tweeted saying that he was looking to get tattooed and he was wanting to name one new uh, tattoo artist. And I had already kind of gotten a small fan base. I had, like, 40,000 followers. Uh, yeah. And a bunch of people commented back and told him about me so he uh he, you know he reached out to me via twitter and ever since then we've been like best friends i tattoo like all the o2l guys i tattoo the janoskians i mean a lot of you miners youtubers um yeah i mean you know ariana grande justin bieber a lot of people just you know from all kinds of uh demographics and all the fans want you to tattoo them too all the fans i see tweets all the time unfortunately most of the fans are like 12 years old i mean <laughs> some of them are 18 but uh you know actually you know a lot of fans come and get tattooed by me really yeah it's pretty cool i like it it's yeah. awesome yeah it's awesome to tattoo somebody who like found me on instagram and all that stuff yeah yeah and what has been like your craziest fan experience so far like has a fan like ever come up to you like okay. touch anything Okay, so I had a I had a fan one time in uh, Japan, and she literally couldn't speak hardly any English, and she mailed me this like this like whole box, and it had all these like handmade like Japanese crafts, which to me was like honestly like the most amazing thing in the world, like the best thing that like any fans ever done for me. Uh, it was like. It had like these like crazy these little Japanese eggs that were painted like these figures and it had these like uh, origamis and it was just like a whole box full of like even had like Japanese money and it was just like a whole like a really cool like package full of like Japanese stuff and like I'm a big like anime fan, I love like anything Japanese, so like I was like really really stuck and like she mailed it out like from Japan, it was like a really big thing and like I sent her like this package back full of all my merch and I was just like really really stuck. It was a pretty big deal. That is awesome. Yeah. Like someone like all the way over there, like even like yeah, and she like couldn't hardly speak any English. Like all her tweets were in, J in Japanese and stuff. I hope so. you still followed her. I did. I followed her. I tweeted at her. I did all kinds of good stuff for her. Yeah. Do you ever see tweets get sent to you saying that they're that fans were scared to come say hi to you because you might be a little intimidating? Am I intimidating? I don't know. I feel like you're a lot nicer than I thought you to be honest. Like yeah. I was a little scared. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's with tattoos, but honestly, I'm not the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, like, you're so I guess a lot of people are intimidated because I have a lot of tattoos, but. Honestly, I'm like the big, I'm like the nicest guy. Like, I'm like really, I don't do anything mean. I'm not like, like you know, I'm, I like, I support like a positive lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like, you talk a lot more than I thought you would. Too. I think you be like really shy and like. Uh, I mean, you're asking good questions, so it's helping out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and can we have all of your social media so everyone can go follow you? Yeah. Um. So my name's Romeo Lacoste. Check me out on at Romeo Lacoste on Twitter, Instagram, Vine. And I also just started YouTube and Snapchat. Make sure to check me out on that. Um, and yeah, I post tattoos. I post all kinds of cool stuff. 
So, yeah. And thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye, guys.